All right, guys, today um, we're going to show you how to remove a cholla cactus, or what's also known as a jumping cactus. Um, we're here in Tucson, Arizona, and this cactus is notorious for sticking in people's bodies. Uh, if you look, these things are about six or eight inches long, and the thorns on them are over an inch. Um, each one of those thorns is sheathed in a like a skin, so when this thing sticks into your body here, um, when you pull it out, the thorns stay in. Uh, um, my buddy got a piece in them yesterday, and we had to use a pair of wire cutters and a pair of pliers to get it out of them without rip, without it rolling into your body and kind of getting more of the thorns into you. These things are are suckers. So we're going to show you how to remove it. Um, uh, we're going to also show you right now why they call it a jumping cactus. So as you see, these big old pieces of the choya cactus actually jump off the cactus and um, get lodged into animals fur into humans whoever bumps into this thing and they carry around these like little pod deals and each one of these root into the ground and grow a new cactus and they grow pretty fast and they're pretty tough to get rid of so what we're gonna do is show you the safest way we've discovered to remove these cactuses so We'll stop here and get to the next step. Get in your hand, first, first thing, without getting your hands or arms near that cactus, you're gonna rake out the loose cactus after you lay down a tarp. You wanna lay the tarp pretty close to the ground so we can get that stuff on there without tearing ourselves up. So rake out that junk. He's gonna pull some onto the tarp and then we'll go to the next part of the video. At this point, you really wanna watch out for your feet and things like that because you don't want to get caught up. And you want to be careful because these things roll around. Those little spikes are like springs. They bounce those. These things bounce around. What we've discovered is the tarp kind of holds them there and uh, stops them from rolling around while we're moving it. Once you got that area raked out and that stuff moved, Pick up all those money as the little ones as you can um, before you start to move the tarp. So we're gonna move that tarp a little under there to try to catch that cactus as we cut. We got our pile there. This big boy right here in the middle, I think is gonna be our first one. And locate the base of it down there. That's the base. And uh, can't get in there with a chainsaw or something, so you're gonna have to use a pole saw. That's what we're gonna use. All right, we're gonna move the tarp. We gotta get it pretty close under there without getting nailed by those uh, stickers. So we're gonna get it pretty close so we can uh, um, drop it onto this tarp here. That's a big boy. That's probably about, what, five and a half feet? Yeah, about 100 pounds. Probably 100, 100 pound, yeah, 100 pound cactus there, that first one we're gonna cut. Guys, here we are. We're gonna cut it with the pole saw. And hopefully it'll fall right into the tarp. And it cuts pretty easy with the pole saw. I mean, it just goes right through. But it looks like he's a little close. Supposed to use the extender on the pole saw. Hopefully that thing don't come tumbling down on him and explode. <laughs> it could. Very well could. Come on, man. Cut it. It's coming right now. It's coming. Okay. You're pretty much through it. Bam! Alright, we got that first one down onto the tarp. Now we're going to show you the next step, um, which is to get this wrapped up and thrown into the bed of your Silverado. Chevy. What we're going to do is each of us is going to get a corner of this tarp and pull it out without this thing bouncing around so you got to be careful so Let's see here I just was called out for no gloves no glove no love on safety you here is also try to break it down a little bit while it's on there be careful they're gonna go flying if you hit it too hard so kind of get it to stay down on your tarp I just don't fling them. Safety, dude. Safety. Okay, now that uh, Raul has moved all that shit down, moved it out of the way, and kind of packed it down on top of that tarp, centered it, 
we're gonna pull it out from where it is so we can wrap it up. A corner. Slide it out. We're away from the thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring each end of this tarp over to each other um, and and tie it up. Should have done this piece uh, before we laid the tarp down, but it's hard to do it when you're gonna have to slide it out of the job, the area that you're working in. So what we're gonna do is um, lay down some string, pull the tarp back over the string, and use the string to tie it up to bundle the choya into the tarp. So how you're gonna do it. You're gonna lay it out. We'll do three of them. Do one in the side, one in the middle, one in the end. And we'll try to tie it all together. So what we're doing is we have this string and what we're going to do is pull it under so you don't have to slide the whole thing. So Raul's going to grab the other end over there and slide it to the middle. The tarp here. It's not gonna slide, huh? It's not it is. You have to stuff. actually do it though. You have to use your manhood. <laughs> Go. Bam, right in the middle. Putting down the second string, which is all they'd ever let me play in junior high football. Pulled up, pulled up his end of the tarp to get under, under. So I'm gonna do the same thing on my end. And the third string under the edge there. So boom, get your, your twine, whatever, under the tarp. I'm gonna roll it over, tie it off. Fold it over the top without tearing his hands up. Watch you get the tarp on it, it'll kind of stick to the cactus so it's not like Falling back on yeah, the cactus holds it into the tarp, which is pretty good. And then, like, and I'm gonna see do this. The... Sticking out, just break it off, make it easier. And just be careful. We should wear eye protection if you see the video. These little thorns flinging everywhere. Done. This, he's good. You just kind of wrap it up like a little ball, like a little present on Christmas. And this is one man wrapping it up, so you got the ability to do that. And you're going to have to be careful. These little suckers are going to be all over the place, so yep, just, just leave them, tie it off, and just try to avoid them. You can use something like metal, mostly like metal tools. We used a hoe, actually moved it around on the tarp pretty well. So Don't grab the tarp with your hands. Do not touch the tarp with your hands. Right. By tarp? now, there's thousands of stickers that you probably can't even see. Let me get here. Look. They're just coming right through the tarp. Little, those things are, are, are wicked. So you don't want to get stuck by that. I mean, look at those things again. Look at that. I mean, that's that. Let's see. Let's do this comparison without getting my hand chopped off. That's about an inch away from my pinky there. Yeah, I chew my nails. <laughs> Once your buddy hands you the other string, you're going to get this shit tied off. Stuff tied off. Sorry for the S word. I'll censor it if I can somehow. I don't know how to do it, but I'll try. And so he's going to carefully yeah, like get a hold of those. Yeah, it's going to be tough tying with gloves. Be careful on what you're doing. Do not try to use your foot to push this forward and get any leverage. You're not going to help yourself with that. So just tie it as tight as you possibly can get it. Oh, Ooh, he got stuck. You good? Yeah. Any blood? You run into like being careful because she wears knot is and stuff, and those things suck. So they're they're tough. So try to get the knot as um, tied as safely as possible. Same thing if you can bundle up the edges Try even better. Pull it that way. You know what I mean? Yep. So what we ended up doing is even pulling that string across the other string and uh, he's getting ready to tie it off. We realize that tying knots with no gloves is really hard, so be careful. Um, he's he's uh, taking his life into his own hands right now. Mention these things are venomous. Tie it off. Nice little knot there, guy. Looking, looking pretty good. Watch your freaking hands. This guy must have been a Boy Scout. I can't do this shit. What is that, double hitch twister knot? With a 
It fucking ties. It's, it's a knot. Final string is uh, we're gonna get it under and across again, and we're gonna tie it off to try to bundle it all together. Remember, to wash your hands. Watch all the damn thorns. Darn damn thorns. Well, that was that's a hundred pound of cactus right there. It ain't light. And he's tying off the last string. And then we're going to show you guys how to get it up into the truck. There's a couple of different ways that we've been able to do it, but we're going to just show you the, the easy way. We might even show you the other way. We'll see. We'll get to it. We've got a lot of cactus to take down today. See, we already got some in there. So this one's not as tightly bundled as the other one, but there's a bunch of different cactus in there. So this one was just a choya, and that's what we're trying to focus on in this video uh, is removal of this stuff. I have a Chevrolet Silverado. Step two, you gotta open that tailgate up with a gloved hand. Oh, look at feel it. Oh, it's opening for me. Wide open, baby. It's a no eight, no tailgate assist, 40 guy. Raul did, he stuck the broom, or the fork, or the fork, the broom, the fork. It's a big ass fork. The uh, rake here <clears throat> through the strings. So I can get on this side, he's gonna be on that side. We're gonna heave this thing up and just, look at that beard, boom. Got it up there, I wish I could have filmed that shit, but it was a pretty epic, um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We were able to slide that up in there, that was pretty good. We were able to slide that up in there pretty easy. Um, using that, nobody, no fatalities. Uh, the deadly Choya cactus has been beat by man. And now you take that shit to the dump. And leave the tarp on it, you're not going to save that. That tarp is totally full of thorns you're never gonna save it they're like what 350 at walmart, walmart 387 walmart back to cleaning out the bottom and then we're on to the next one so we'll probably show us cutting another one uh and he's, he's raking out again remember watch yourself it's getting all that shit out of there because those ones are a pain and a lot of them sometimes are already rooted into the ground like we said earlier so we realized what you could do in here is um if this is here and you want to kind of even things out you can, it, it moves around pretty easy on the tarp. Use a rake. We were using a hoe earlier. You can get it spread out a little bit even, more even, or if you have a straggler off to the side, you pull it back in and uh, get it on the tarp. If you look, we have to go deeper into this deal here. So we're gonna use uh, the rake and he's got a pitchfork over there and we're gonna slide the tarp. Don't stand on the tarp, obviously, when you're trying to slide it over because you won't go anywhere. Yeah, I know you're not going anywhere because you're standing on the <laughs> All right, so. Just slide that sucker up in there and look. Try to get it close to the base down there if you can because this one's the next one coming down and it's it's a big one too. That I'd say is what? Four inches around? Oh, at least six. It's a big, it's a big, boy. look at that one. Damn, that thing is like nine inches. That arm. Breaking off of this one cactus is you huge. Need to cut that arm off first. Yeah, I think we're gonna start by trying to remove a bigger arm because when you go to lay this thing down, it's gonna be huge on there. So we're gonna cut an arm off first and we'll show that process. Yeah, you might see him flying off. As we cut, here we go. Oh, it's down. You gotta try to pull it on. Yeah. You don't wanna make your cart fly over here. You wanna get it on the cart. You have arms that are hanging up there. Raul showed you how to break them off with a pitchfork. But with the saw, you could do the same thing. And cut them off. Just to get them to lay in the tarp. And they're real green on the ends. This part is pretty dense, but these arms, these jumpers, will cut off. They're butter. Um, so get it down into your thing. See this arm again? It's a little high. We want to take that one down. Cut it. The lower you go, the harder it is to cut. Higher up, it's pretty green, so it comes off pretty easy. And we got that one laid down really well. We Drop the next one, bro. Sec, we're going right in for the big boy here. As low as you can. I said it's a little harder. Watch your head and face. There's an angle on 
here so I can try to pull it forward. I usually go pretty much all the way through. And then I want to try to pull it off because I don't want it falling backwards. I think you need a little bit more, bro. Yeah, it needs more. Pull saw. Oh, there we go. The first, first casualty of first the day. First casualty. Don't kneel. Don't kneel. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're in there, buddy. They're in there. Get them out. Where's the pliers? I'll go get Let them. me give me those snips. Here. Go ahead and pause it. And... Caught my knee. Can't really see it here. Yeah, look at them. They're a little bit in there. So he's going to just yank them out. No, don't cut them. Just yank them. I didn't mean to cut it. You're going to make that fucker short. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one felt yeah, great. Oh, did you cut that one too? No, dude, it, it came out. That one up top. Oh, oh, there's, you did cut that one top. I'm going to take my pants off. Uh oh, where is it? <laughs> I think I'm good. It's in my kneecap. It's cool. All right, so injury. I'm gonna call off for the day, said the millennial. We men, we work through this. Trusty rake. See if we can take it down. Oh, slipping. Here we go. And that's why you can step back, keep a distance from these things. Since you're up here, Knock them suckers down. Stop playing them everywhere. Now remember, they do fly. Look at that. Let's see. No, you don't want those on you. See these? You can see them. I don't know if you can in the video. This is the thorn, thorns flying off. The little daggers. This is a big one. It's bigger than it looked. Yeah, way bigger. We're going to pull these arms off and I'm going to cut here. A lot easier because it's so green up top. That base is the Piece. That's it. Chopped up. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag it out here. We're going to lay our strings, wrap it up. Throw it in the back of the Chevy. Keep hydrated. Gatorade. For the yard working man. Stay hydrated, we're in Arizona, Tucson desert, people die. Dehydration, heat stroke, all that shit. That's why we wear these crazy ass hats. Looking like he's from- No, they're fucking fashion Serengeti. <laughs> Bearded fucking crazy ass yet, did you? Mm. So sexy. We got hit again, it's just on the plastic, so Raul's gonna show you how to get it off your shoe. There you go. And there's a nice freaking thorn in the sun. Second batch of Choyas here. It's like day two, there's a bunch of crazy shit over here. But I want to show you something. These things are crazy dangerous, even to the birds that try to use them for protection. You can see nests in there. If you look, there's a nest. There's a nest up there. Let me come down here and this mother is hella dead. Hooked up on those. He's been there for a while. We found another victim of the deadly choya cactus. The baby of the bird. 
it was going to the nest. Oh, uh, he's. Oh, damn. And he ate it hard. I think there's another one in there too, but I can't tell. Shit. Stay. <laughs>